Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program must accept the R cross C character matrix as our input. Then we must print yes if the alphabets in each diagonal is in reverse order so else we must print no so what is the diagonal is that from top left sorry from top right to bottom left so we are accepting the R cross C character matrix then we must print yes if the alphabets in each diagonal is in reverse order else we must print no then what is the diagonal is that from the top right to bottom left now take our first test case so here we have highlighted all the diagonals throughout the matrix so we have to check whether they are in reverse order so if it is in reverse order we must print yes else no now first we'll have this man this element so it is in reverse order then we have ff that is in reverse order then we have z y x it is in reverse order then we have n m l k which is in reverse order then we have j h f d b yes it is in reverse order then we have v u u t r o it is in reverse order then we have p p p it is in reverse order then we have j h d h so here d h is not in reverse order so we will print no as our output so here no will be our output as you can see here dh is in not in reverse order so let us take our another test case the 3 cross 4 matrix so here you can see a is in reverse order then es is in reverse order then z q p is in reverse order then x v u is in reverse order then b b is in reverse order then i is also in reverse order so yes will be our output now we'll understand the key logic of the program so here we have marked the all the diagonals with integers so as you can see uh, the sum of uh, column and the row elements in this diagonal is 0 and here it is 1 that is 1 plus 0 is 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1 so here it is 2 that is 2 plus 1 plus 0 is 2 and 0 plus 1 plus 2 then so we'll have the sum of rows and columns for each diagonal So here it is 3 and here it is 4 and here it is 5 then here it is 6 then we have 7 then we have 8 then we have 9 
after that we have 10 so the possible diagonals in this matrix is 10 diagonals so these possible diagonals we are going to find whether they are in reverse order or not so you can see that the rows plus columns minus 2 will be the possible diagonals that is r plus c is 6 plus 6 minus 2 that is 10 so we have these 10 diagonals so in order to iterate over all these 10 diagonals we'll have a for loop in which so for CTR in range R to C minus 1 that is will iterate from 0 to 11 that is 6 plus 6 minus 1 is 11 so we'll have from 0 to 10 diagonals So after that, we don't want to check whether the, these diagonals are in reverse order or not. Rather, we'll find them from top right to bottom left and check whether they are in sorted or not. So if they are sorted, we will print yes. So if it is not sorted, we will print no. Now let us implement our program. First, we'll get the number of rows and columns as the input then we'll get our matrix for row in range R so after getting our matrix will iterate over the diagonals of the matrix that is r plus c minus 1 then we'll have a array called the character array where we will store the character elements of the diagonal then we will again iterate over the matrix for column in range C. Now we'll check whether if the row plus column is equal to equal to CTR. So if it satisfies that condition then we'll append the matrix with the character array and as we discussed in our logic video, we don't want to check whether the each diagonal is in reverse order or not. Instead, we would check whether the diagonals that is from top right to bottom left are in sorted way or not. So in order to check whether the diagonals are sorted, we'll use if character array is not equal to sorted of the character array then we'll print no as our output and break the loop else we'll print yes as our output So now let us execute our program. First we'll run this test case. So we have got the correct output that is no. As you can see here dh is not in reverse order. Then we'll run our second test case. 
so here also we have got the correct output as you can see all the diagonals are in reverse order our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video